can't do this anymore. Guys, like literally every time I leave town, which has literally been like every weekend, for some reason my apartment just ends up getting messy. I have a shopping addiction. Like I buy too many clothes. I buy too many sneakers. I'm running out of room. My apartment is only 700, 700 square, square feet. feet. Which reminds me that my lease is actually up in three months. I can't believe it's been a year since I moved into this place. Yeah, we just got back from the Bay Area yesterday. I was there for about a few days just to see like fan league or the Warriors game. Flashback to the Warriors game right now. Shout out to everybody celebrating Christmas around the world. And we're celebrating this uh, day of everything being closed by going to the Warriors game. So as you guys remember, the Warriors beat the Cavs last year in the NBA Finals, which usually sets up a Christmas Day matchup of the two NBA Final teams as their first meetup is usually on Christmas. You know, we got to give a huge thank you to my people over at SeatGeek for sending us to this. You guys know I always rock with SeatGeek for sending me to all the games and, and events and stuff like that. And last time... I, uh, for the Kobe retirement game, I said that it was the best marketplace for sneakers. I don't know where my head was at, but obviously SeatGeek does not sell sneakers. They sell tickets to events. So this is the best marketplace for tickets, any tickets. And shout out to all you guys because I see you guys using my promo code KAIS and tweeting me that you got $20 off your tickets. So uh, yeah, that's pretty dope. But unfortunately, one thing that we do have to do right now is pay for our damn parking because it's like 40 bucks just to park here. So <laughs> $40 challenge. Hi. Yep. Okay, yeah, thank you. Alright guys, not much to see here. Warriors just got the W. We got the confetti falling from the sky. Oh yeah, show the shirt we got. We got some sick shirts. Warriors. Damn, what is this? Do you get this? on my off-white. Yeah, and that was the Warriors game. But now we're back here at the apartment and guys, like I was saying, like my apartment is getting overflown with sneakers and ch and clothing and, and just stuff. And whose fault is that? It's my fault. I take full responsibility of my shopping addiction. Bro, like I don't even have any more room for these sneakers. By the way, I picked these up. Uh you probably saw me wear these on the intro for the, the game thingy. But anyway, there's too much fire dropping. Like, bruh, the blue Gatorade? Like, come on. So this is what I'm doing right now. Is Right now, I'm literally going through everything from clothes to sneakers. And since it's the end of the year, 2018, obviously, it's like it's like a restart for a lot of people. You know, the gym starts for some people. Not Maybe for maybe me. For we don't, me. Know, we yet. don't know yet. For me, in 2018, I want to slow down my spending habits and focus more on saving for the future, you know, buying my house, getting my dream car, you know, planning our dream wedding. Like 2018 is going to be the year of me making all my dreams come true. That is what the, the theme is for my 2018. So most of today will be spent like cleaning. I already got a whole bunch of clothes that I'm going to just donate to charity. Even some of my own merch is in there. And speaking of merch, so as you guys know, me and the homie Blazendary, basically we did a collab in New York. We did this camel blazing crew hoodie, very, very simple, but we want to give an opportunity for the rest of the world to buy the blazing crew collab. So we're dropping four items of merch this Thursday on blazingcrew.co, but it's not the camel hoodie. We've got a gray hoodie. We've got a black and yellow hoodie. We've got a black and blue t-shirt and we've got a red and white t-shirt. Now all these items are very very dope. They're very similar, but here's the significance of like the design behind it Obviously, you got the blazing crew logo NY is where blazing area was born CA is where I was born California Florida is where me and him met about two years ago at the first ever sneaker con that I did with Crep protect I actually met him there He was in my vlog which is actually kind of funny because he was technically the first ever like youtuber from the sneaker slash fashion world that I ever met before like Tony and Bull and all those guys. Okay, so yeah, the merch is cool, but here's the best part. Everybody who buys something from the online order, whether you buy a shirt, whether you buy a hoodie, every single order gets you entered into the biggest giveaway that we have ever done. 30 people who order will win the collab hoodie from SneakerCon New York, the camel one. 10 winners will receive a FaceTime call or a Skype from me and Blazendary to get 
God damn it, from me and Blazendary together. So when me and Blazendary are together, we will literally pick 10 people who ordered stuff and call you guys from the phone numbers you guys leave. But here's the grand, grand prize. Now we both have already announced this, but I'm gonna explain it to you guys fully so you know. The grand prize winner will get a free trip to the Bay Area on March 31st to come to SneakerCon. Flights, hotel, free VIP tickets to SneakerCon for free and they can bring someone with them. So there'll be one winner and then let's say like somebody young wins, they can bring their parent with them. If you're a little bit older, you can bring your friend with you, you can bring your sister, you can bring your brother, you can bring anyone you want. So we'll get two free flights, a hotel, and you get two VIP tickets to SneakerCon where you'll be able to hang out with me and Blazendary. We'll give you guys some free merch. We'll sit courtside for the Hoops Classic. You'll get to meet all the other sneaker YouTubers. It's gonna be dope. Make sure you guys cop your merch because you never know who's gonna win. It's, it's, it's worldwide shipping anywhere in this world. Yeah, I know that was a lot of talking and uh, now I'm gonna finish cleaning up all this stuff and going through all my clothes and things like that. But obviously the title of this vlog is a little bit different and you're probably wondering, Kais, you just said you're not going to any more sneaker cons, but then you just announced that you're gonna be flying someone to sneaker con Bay Area to hang out with you. So how does that work? Well, I gotta explain something to you guys. You see the past two years, I've made SneakerCon my main priority, which has caused me to miss out on a lot of like family functions, weddings, you know, birthdays, other stuff. Like every time Mina gets time off of work, she actually works a nine to five. Every time she gets time off of work, it doesn't go to her having days off to relax. It goes to coming to a SneakerCon and working for me and selling merch and stuff like that. Like I have to put like my future and my family before that type of stuff we're getting married we're gonna buy a house like there's gonna be a lot of big steps like i said and you know as much as i love coming to sneaker cons and meeting all you guys and just have, being part of that culture it's like i need to focus on other stuff for my personal life outside of youtube if that makes sense <laughs> A lot of people think that when something ends, it's because something bad happened. Like for instance, like I'm not doing sneaker cons anymore because I had a problem with the sneaker con team or I'm not happy or something like that. That's not the case at all. I'm very happy. My sneaker con run was two years straight no missed sneaker cons. I'm still going to be working with the sneaker con team to create dope stuff for sneaker con, but I just won't be going to all of them. Originally, I didn't want to do any at all. I just said 2018, I'm done. Like, I just want to, you know, not travel as much, just focus on my thing, my content, my, my family, like I said, all that stuff. But there's some big, big, big sneaker cons next year. And the first one of the year is obviously sneaker con Bay Area, which is in three months from now, which is in March. And Bay Area is my home. That That's where I was born and raised. That's where I lived for most of my life. And if I'm gonna leave sneaker con, I can't leave and not do Bay Area the next sneaker con. So, after thinking about it and then talking to Blazendary with this online drop we have, I was like, what a better opportunity than to just do Bay Area and go all out. It's my hometown and every time SneakerCon is in the Bay, there's so many sneakerheads there. There's the culture in the Bay Area is, it's not as big as like New York and LA, but I feel like it's it's real. Like it's it's more real than 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 any other place. Like I don't know how to explain it, but there's like like a lot of my memories from camping out from shoes to you know hanging out with my friends and talking about shoes and all that stuff just it was in the Bay Area and I have so much love for the culture in the Bay Area when it comes to sneakers and there's no way I can miss sneaker con Bay Area like I said I'm not gonna be doing all the sneaker cons next year I probably won't be doing most of them but I will be doing a very very select few some people are probably saying like oh you're making it such a big deal blah 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 but well this is my channel this is me talking to you guys and telling you guys what's going on in my head and with my life a lot of people asked if you look at the last vlog or the vlog from New York or the mini movie from New York, a lot of the questions were why is he done with sneaker con? What, why is he not doing any more sneaker cons? And here's your answer. So there's, there, there it is. That's pretty much what's going on with my life. Other than that, yo, these are fire by the way. I'm really, really happy I got these. This is, ah, this is beautiful. 
I know what you're thinking. Wow, the last two, three videos were bangers and then you hit us with this whack video of you in your apartment. Your content is so, so repetitive. There comes a balance when it comes to my YouTube career. There's sometimes when I'm gonna put out bangers and then there's sometimes when I'm just gonna put out normal videos of what's going on in my life while I'm in my apartment, you know what I'm saying? I'm only here for three more months, four more months, okay? Let me enjoy my man cave before it's taken away from me. Okay.